Gude and welcome to the next episode of my tutorial video series Home Assistant Loves Voice. And in this episode I would like to give the Wyoming Protocol a closer look. And as I have mentioned in my previous videos, Wyoming Protocol has been created by Mike Hansen to support an easy data transfer and exchange between voice processing components like wake word detection, speech recognition, speech synthesis and a satellite multi-room speaker setup scenario. If you like this video or the series or my video content in general, do not forget to subscribe to my channel, hitting the notification bell to not miss upcoming videos on my channel and give this video a thumbs up and let me know in the comment box below on what you think. By the way, this video is not required for everybody who would like to enable voice control of Home Assistant. But for whom is this video hopefully helpful? At least for people who would like to work with a multi-room audio setup. So having speaker and microphones in multiple rooms. And this type of setup is normally called a satellite setup. Using this satellite setup, you should have a basic understanding of the Wyoming Protocol. The second reason why you should take a closer look to the Wyoming Protocol is, uh, let's create a simple setup. So you have a performant server running with Home Assistant, so performant speech recognition, performant speech synthesis, and would like to use voice control, so speech recognition, speech synthesis, uh, on your local home network, but outside the scope of Home Assistant. And you do not want to set up multiple instances, for example, of Piper TTS. And with the Wyoming protocol, it is really easy with some development skills. It is really easy to use your centralized in Home Assistant, in your performed system, centralized voice processing components. So just run them once centralized and use them really easy over your local area network. And this is what this video will be about. Let's start by taking a look to uh, the Wyoming documentation in Home Assistant in general. So uh, we have this uh, Wyoming protocol doc here. I'll put all the links as always in the description box below. And you can see Whisper as speech recognition engine, Piper as speech synthesis engine, and the open wake word for this OK Nabu, Hey Microsoft, um, or Hey Jarvis. This is probably the first page you should take a look and read through all the possibilities that Wyoming has to offer. And the next step is to take a look to GitHub and in special to the Wyoming repository, which is part of the RASB or RASB version 3 project. Um, so if you take a look here, you can see that the Wyoming protocol is used in all of these types of communication when it comes to, as I've said, uh, satellite setup, um, wake word detection, speech to text, text to speech, and intent handling. And the Wyoming protocol is based on a simple JSON syntax. And I've made an interview with Mike Hansen where he talked a little bit on the idea of Wyoming and he would like or he wanted to keep communication with really less overhead. So no huge MQTT uh, requirement in the back end. So um, this is simply JSON based. All of these links will bring you to a special GitHub repository for each use case. So click this, you are on the Wyoming Piper repository on GitHub uh, with more information when it comes to the speech synthesis and Wyoming. You can run outside of Home Assistant your own Wyoming Piper server process within a Python environment, or you can run it as a Docker image. So super easy to set up a Wyoming Piper instance, but I would like to run it inside Home Assistant. So just run one instance and connect remotely to use the service. And if you are interested in using Wyoming in Python environments, please check out the Python package index and simply search for Wyoming. And you will find a long list of packages that have been pre-built. So Wyoming protocol for the RASB voice assistant, the Piper server process, satellite setups. So you can easily use pre-built Python packages to use Wyoming 
voice control and communication inside your Python environment. And again, all of the links will be in the description box below. But now let's play a little bit around on the practical side. So let's first of all see the basic or the main repository of Wyoming on GitHub. And you can see this super simple JSON string here. It's a one-liner. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's a one-liner. That's basically <laughs> what it is. But how can we access Wyoming components or Wyoming communication running inside Home Assistant? And for that, let's go to our dashboard here, hit settings, go to our add-on of Piper text-to-speech, go to the configuration, scroll down to the end of the page, and you will see a network tab with well, which is disabled by default. So let's enable it and define a port that should be exposed by Home Assistant for Piper and Wyoming. So let's go with 10,200 and simply hit save. Restart Piper TTS add-on. And now this add-on in combination with Wyoming protocol will be exposed on port 10,200 and can be accessed remotely. So let's get back to the GitHub Wyoming documentation, scroll a little bit down and you can see examples of all possibilities. Um, let's simply start with describe. So getting a request of all available voice services. So all we have to do is to put this describe into our one-liner JSON string here as type and put this request using port 10,200 or whatever you have defined for yourself. So uh, let's go uh, in my Visual Studio code where I've prepared these snippets and you can see here, let's make it a little bit bigger. Hope you can see it. So let's make it this way. So this is a simple example. You can see this NC, which is Netcat, which is a default tool for network operation available on all or at least the most operating systems. But you can also use curl. You can use any tool that allows you to make HTTP requests. So what this first line will do here, it will echo this JSON string, as we have seen on the GitHub documentation, with the string describe. And pipe this string using netcat to my IP address of my virtual home assistant um, virtual box image on port 10200 and will write the output that comes back from this URL in the file out.json. So let's see, so no out.json here by now. Let's simply copy this string paste it here and see what we got. So now we have this out JSON file on the navigation here. Let's open it. And you can see it's <laughs> pretty long and ugly formatted, but there is content. So there has been lots of um, response coming back from the Home Assistant Wyoming Piper process. Uh, let's try to make it a little bit beauty. So beautify this document. Much better. Still long, but way better to read. So you can see that this JSON came back as a response JSON using this simple call on this defined port. So we have Piper, we have Raspi, we have lots of information about the languages that are available and so on. And being a developer, this should be really easy to parse for you. So this uh, should not be a problem at all. Um, let's go back to our second example here. Um, we can synthesize data using a simple text and the same port configuration. So basically the same call, just using synthesize as type instead of describe and adding additional data, in this case, a text. Before running this, let's go back one more time to the Wyoming GitHub documentation. See 
below in the text to speech chapter, we have this synthesize type and text as required string argument. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code and simply run this command. This should bring or return binary output for the wave data. Yeah, and as we can see, we get lots of information, so metadata about the sample rate, mono channel and more meta information. But you can see that this is binary output coming back. So this is not the wave or no plain wave output as there are meta information, but this should be not too complex to parse and save all the chunks in the wave file audio. Please refer again to the documentation and you will get uh, help on that. Or let me know in the comment box below if you would like me to make a more detailed video on how to deal with the possibility of Wyoming. And the most important part is to not forget to subscribe to my channel, hitting the notification bell and let me know in the comment box what you think. Yeah, and that's it for this little bit more deep into details on the Wyoming protocol and how you can use it to access a centralized instance for speech recognition or voice services in general and use them locally but outside of the scope of Home Assistant. I hope you liked it and if it is so, we might see us next time. Bye!